we've really broadened our view of how an academic medical center and academic pulmonary division should work. I think it really sort of brought out how collaborative we are within our division and institution. I think our culture of quality really starts with the relationships that we build. A culture of quality. It's a dominant feature at University of Utah School of Medicine Pulmonary Division. The division has an integrated synergistic approach to clinical care, research, and education. The team serves one of the largest geographical areas in the U.S. with innovative, compassionate, patient-centered care. The University of Utah is the only academic medical center in the state, and its impact goes well beyond its borders. We're the, the largest center between, between Denver and San Francisco. We have a catchment area. We bring patients in from the largest geographic area of any academic center in the United States. We service Idaho, Wyoming, uh, Montana, Arizona, parts of Colorado. Throw in much of Nevada, and the team serves patients from about 10% of the U.S. continental landmass. Which creates some interesting opportunities and challenges because we get to see some of the more complex patients because they get referred into us because the local providers feel they need more subspecialty care. The Division of Respiratory Critical Care and Occupational Pulmonary Medicine has risen to the challenge and expanded its mission. We are trying to move beyond our academic center in providing care that can improve the health of the community overall. It's an important part of what we do. Community engagement is a core component of meeting critical needs. We've started working on air pollution and how we can improve air quality in the Salt Lake Valley. And we can periodically experience pretty intense elevated levels of particulate pollution. Partly due to the geography of the valley. Air pollution is kind of this pervasive exposure, but it disproportionately impacts people um, of lower socioeconomic status as well as racial and ethnic minorities. It is kind of detective work to sort of figure out what exposures may have contributed and what you can do about it, which were then incorporated into making these recommendations for policy change to improve public health. It's a commitment to community based on impactful research, reducing health disparities and improving access. One of the things that I think is really exciting about the University of Utah um, is that we are having these really important conversations about equity with uh, people in urban areas, but also with people in the rural West. A patient care mission that informs research. We have very committed scientists. What's distinctive about us is, is that our scientists link their cl the clinical mission and discovery. I'm a referral specialist for patients with alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. And so having these um, collaborative research groups allows us to learn more about the disease. So my area of sub-subspecialty is a neuromuscular respiratory failure and multidisciplinary clinics. The university's new rehabilitation hospital is dedicated to complex patients who require multidisciplinary care. It allows us to take a patient who, say, has a spinal cord injury who's in an ICU and bring them to the rehabilitation hospital faster and get them going with rehab to regain function quicker than for us to be able to collaborate with engineers, with PM&R doctors, with the rehab specialists is just really exciting and keeps us going. Collaboration and research also extends to preparation for future health emergencies. Infectious disease, uh, epidemiologists all sort of play in and help us sort of keep up to date in terms of what our risks are. A lot of these pathogens are respiratory pathogens and so it sort of is right up our alley in terms of physiology. From research and discovery to education and patient-centered care, it's all rolled up into what the University of Utah describes as a culture of quality. This is a circumstance where the division fits beautifully within the broader institution. I think our culture of quality really starts with the relationship that we build between colleagues, between clinicians, and then with patients. Um, I think that that's a huge part of our culture. I think that really builds great science. 
So it is a team sport. An appropriate analogy from this former Olympic cross-country skier. When you see a single clinician interacting with a patient, when you see a single uh, patient experience, that really uh, represents an entire community of, of people. Large numbers of people working together, sharing a common mission. That's the passion in the faculty that pushes it ahead. They come in as, as, as great doctors and we just let them grow further and really blossom. Understanding and continually improving patient care while training the fellows and future leaders who will carry the University of Utah philosophies forward. It's not just great medical care, but it's great personal care.